Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna to be tackling something on Eric's truck. As you know, in the previous video, we talked about everything going on with this truck. So we got ourselves some work going on and uh, we're gonna be tackling some tail lights right away. So go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell button so you get those notifications. And let's go ahead and take a look at these tail lights. So as you can see, the tail lights that I got on this truck, this one's cracked right here. This one over here, they had it holding on with some duct tape. No clue why, because he's got the proper screw holes in there. So we're gonna go ahead and take these off, put the new ones in, and it'll be a quick, simple video for you guys. But hey, some people need to know how to do this. So this is what we got here. We've got some all red smoke there, not LED. We'll have to get some LEDs and put them in there, just like regular bulbs. All right, so it's about as easy as it gets. You twist this out, twist this out, twist this out. These are actually LEDs, so they're just plugged in, and then we'll be putting actual LEDs in the new ones. So the LEDs we're using are 3157s. I would highly suggest these because these are actually lifetime warranty and they're legit lifetime warranty. If they go out, keep your receipt, you send it into them, you give them a call, they'll send you new ones. A lot of people use other aftermarket LEDs, but Sylvania really does a good job backing the quality LED that they have. And I would highly suggest them for any, you know, basic white LEDs, you know, your reverse lights, your running lights, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get these LEDs in and put this new tail light in. And it's a simple two screws, top and bottom, and then you can move on to the other side. Take the other side, two screws, take the old ones out, trap the one minor resistor. Again, like stated previously, we have 3157 for basically all three bulbs. So next step, after we checked over the LEDs, we're gonna be installing some new LED license plate lights. The ones that came with the truck are broken. Just the clip on it is broken. This one's still in place, but we fit, obviously if you're gonna replace one side, you're gonna replace both sides. The link in the description will be below for both the tail lights and those license plate lights. So make sure you guys go ahead and check those links out below. Also, my Instagram link will be in the description below. Make sure you guys go ahead, make sure you guys go ahead and give me a follow so that you see some of the stuff before it's uploaded. All right, so this is about as easy as it gets. You just simply take out the old one, take out the old bulb, grab the new one, and it's a little end piece that'll slide into where the bulb goes. So it twists in there just like the tail light bulbs do. And before you clip it back in there, make sure you check that they work. So I'll have to personally admit that they look a lot better than I anticipated. I didn't know how the tinted red, darkened red, you could say, would look against the victory red on the truck. And they look amazing to the point now where that's probably got to get changed out. We've already talked about it. We are going to be doing a hyper flat, flat blah, blah, a hyper flash relay in the truck. Um, that'll be coming up here real soon. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you're already subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell button so you get those notifications. I'm excited to have a second truck on the channel. Unfortunately, it's not mine, but hey, it is what it is. No, I'm good. I'm, it's still gonna be probably maybe be looking for another truck in the future here, you guys, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.